Hello from OMB Warehouse, home of the Gray Goat Garage. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to maintain your Hilliard clutch. Um, the Hilliard Extreme Duty clutch is a very um, heavy duty unit. It uh, comes with integral keyways in, in the hub and in the bushing so there's no keys needed to uh, mount this onto the engine. We want to keep this clutch drum spinning freely so let's show you how to maintain it. First things first, we need to take the large washer and nut off the end of the crank. And then we can pull the clutch off the engine. You'll notice there's two specifically different halves of this clutch. I like to call this the friction side, and I like to call this the sprocket side, drum side, um, or, or the spinning side, if you will. So let, let's show you how to take this apart, properly get it lubed up. Um, very common tools you need for this, uh, a half inch wrench, an impact is nice but it's not necessary, um, some snap ring pliers, like to have some of my OMB 30 weight oil hanging around in a can, and a little bit of WD-40 as well. So let, let's get started and I'll show you how to maintain this clutch. You'll notice that the, the drum portion of this clutch has a snap ring on the inside or the sprocket side. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna release that snap ring and get the bushing out so I can show you what that's about. Okay, so I got the snap ring out and you'll see the bushing just drop down. This bushing has the, the groove for the snap ring and this is a bronze bushing and it's what we call oil impregnated meaning oil will actually soak into this bushing and as it gets hot it will release some oil to help you keep everything spinning freely. I want to use just a couple drops of 30 weight here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my finger and move it around on this portion here maybe just put a dab on these ears here but nothing real crazy I don't want to see a whole lot of uh, oil on there and I'm just going to set this off to the side for a little bit. Grab one of your wife's nice kitchen towels and what I like to do is just spray a little WD-40 right on the rag and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to use WD-40 and I'm just going to clean out the inside of this drum. This one's fairly new so there's not a whole lot of stuff there. What I don't want you to do is use any silicone based lubricants or any Teflon based lubricants on this drum. That will uh, leach into the metal and will keep the uh, shoes from grabbing. I can also take my WD-40 and clean off the shoes from any residue. And I want to keep this side clean. You'll notice one of the benefits of the Hilliard clutches is the easily removable springs. Just take a pair of pliers, you can pull that straight out. You can put different springs in here for, for different engagement speeds. It's a really easy clutch to, to use and maintain and um, has a lot of adjustability to it. Okay, once I've let the oil soak into this bushing, I'm going to put the bushing back in through the back side of the drum. And then I'm going to reattach my snap ring. This is the hardest part. And make sure that it's set in there, it's in the groove. And then I always like to make sure that everything's spinning freely. So you'll see that we have the keyway here and we're going to move this, reinstall this clutch onto the shaft. And I always like to put the drum side on first, you know, especially running inboard. This clutch can run inboard and outboard, so if you uh, had a, an arrangement where you wanted your sprocket on the outside, we could simply install that first and then put the bushing side and the, the drum side on. This clutch works in either direction, so you can use it either way. For this application, I am running inboard with the sprocket towards the engine. Very important to remember that this cover needs to stay on all the time. Without this cover, there's a chance of the shoes and the springs coming out. So once we have that on, we're gonna use our large washer and our bolt 
and simply tighten that back down on the engine. It's a, a really simple procedure. It, it doesn't take a long time and it's something that should be done every two hours of use. Um, I also like to, every hour of use, I'll pull the dipstick out of the engine and there'll always be a couple drops of oil left on the end and I'll just dab that down here where that snap ring is. Try to get to the open part of the snap ring so it'll go in there and you can just put a couple drops of oil right from the engine and put it right there and that'll keep that clutch lasting a, a long time and staying very happy. The biggest issue I see with these clutches, with any clutch, regardless of manufacturer, is nobody ever oils it. And without having oil in the clutch, um, what happens is this bushing will run dry from oil. And at that point, it's going to start heating up. It's going to expand a little bit and it will bind with this shaft. And that's what wears out on these clutches. So a little bit of oil, a couple drops will go a long way. Make sure you come visit us at ombwarehouse.com and thanks for stopping by the Grey Goat Garage. Thank you.